Welcome! This video will take you through the steps for successful sample collection. Be sure to follow the steps correctly and in order. Start by opening the kit and placing everything in front of you. Slowly remove the collection device and place it on the table face up. Don't touch the collection material. Your sample will go into this square, indicated area. You'll also find an alcohol pad to wipe the tip of your finger before you prick it using one of these lancets. You only need one, but we've included two just in case. There's also a bandage to cover your fingertip after collection. The foil bag is what you'll put your collection device into before shipping it off to our lab partner. Please don't remove the desiccant material from this bag, as it ensures the stability of your sample as it travels. Before you take your test, here are some tips to help you collect a good sample. Make sure you're well hydrated. You may even want to give yourself a few hours to take plenty of fluids. Next, get warmed up for a few minutes. Walk around, get mobile, do a few jumping jacks to get your blood flowing. Wash your hands under water that's as warm as you can tolerate for one whole minute. The ring finger is a great finger to pull the collection from, as it is generally not as calloused as the rest of the fingers. The lancet will be firmly pressed into the middle side of the finger. Not in the middle, due to the nerves there, and not too close to the side, because it's more difficult to produce the amount of blood required there. Now it's time to collect your blood sample. Don't worry, you'll only feel a small prick. Just breathe. First, clean the tip of your finger with the alcohol pad provided. Twist off the cap of the lancet. This makes the lancet active and ready. Place your hand on a firm surface and press the lancet into your finger until you feel a click. Next, position your fingertip right above the indicated area of the card to drop five ladybug-sized blood droplets into it, making sure you're not touching the device itself. To produce blood droplets, massage your finger from the palm to the first knuckle, avoiding squeezing your finger, especially close to the fingertip, as this can affect the blood sample. Please note you should only be dropping blood into the first square. Your collection device should have enough sample material to reach the first line in the rectangular area of the card as indicated by the black arrows. If you couldn't get enough out of your first prick, don't worry. You can use the extra lancet provided in the kit to prick a different finger and add to your sample collection. Allow your sample to dry for 30 minutes. When you're done, cover your pricked finger with the bandage provided and write your date of birth, name, and date on the indicated area of the card. Once the 30 minutes have passed and your sample was given the chance to dry, place the card into the foil bag provided and seal it. Make sure you did not remove the desiccants that came in the foil bag, because this will ensure the stability of your sample on the way back to the lab. Put the foil bag containing your collection card back into the box. Place the box containing your sample into the shipping bag provided with your kit. Make sure you drop it off at the provider listed on the shipping label on the same day or within 24 hours of collection. That's it! We'll let you know when your results are ready. It's that easy!